I'm Joe Whitchurch. I'm going to share with you a little bit of worldview outreach. This is a grid. It looks like tic-tac-toe, but only one line down the middle instead of two. And it answers six questions on the grid. The first question is, where? Where did this stuff come from? Where did this universe come from? Where did life come from? Where did DNA come from? Where did you come from? Where did the understanding of love or logic come from? The second question is what? What is the human problem? Why can't we get our act together, even with all of our money in the West, or with our education, or with our great relationships, or our cosmetics to make us beautiful? What is the human problem? Why can't we seem to get our act together? The next one is the is question. Is there any real justice ever coming? And by the way, what is justice? Are we talking racial justice? Are we talking economic justice? Are we talking gender justice? Are we talking glass ceiling? Are we talking criminal justice? Is any real justice ever coming? Next question is who? Who is the center person of history? Who is Jesus Christ? Every cult has got a theory about it. Islam calls him the prophet. Some people in the East call him a guru. The next question is, is there life, and we know there's life because we're living to ask the question, after, after death, what happens after we die? Do we get reincarnated? Do we just go out of existence in annihilation? What happens after death? It could be a what question, but is there life after death? And the last question is how? How then should we live? Should or ought we to live? What's the way of really living? And I'm going to give you some of the answers that come from different worldviews. Like, for instance, where did the stuff come from? The evolutionist is going to tell you it came by an explosion called Big Bang. And where did the life come from? It came from an explosion called the Cambrian explosion. Where does logic and love come from? It came from an explosion of human consciousness when humans finally evolved from lower primates. Um, oh, other people have different theories about where it came from besides evolution. Here's another one. Matter, life, these things are all an illusion. All that matters is the spirit. Hard to live consistent with it. I've never seen somebody believe matter is an illusion, walk out in front of a bus, but there are people that say that. Some people say, where did the stuff come from? Wherever you want it to come from. You invent your own reality. Same kind of stuff. What is the human problem? Why can't we get our life together? People have different answers. One says, well, it's because we didn't get enough education. Oh, we didn't redistribute the wealth good enough. Oh, we don't all have the same amount of melanin in our skin. Or we're not, we're not all androids or androgynous. Or we're not all transhuman. Or we're not all robots. What is the problem with you? Some people say there is no problem. Everything's perfect. If you just look away from a distance, everything looks beautiful in its own way. What is the human problem? People have different answers to that. Is real justice ever coming from? Ever coming? Marx has an idea about that. Yeah, the revolution is coming. Other people say, oh no, it's when we make every country a democracy. Oh, is real justice ever coming? Oh, it's when all the money gets redistributed. And then the smart people know how to invest it, and those that aren't so smart with economics don't, and they get poor again. That's like winning the lottery and being poor. Who is Jesus Christ? Jehovah's Witnesses say, He's Michael the Archangel, or just a very good man. Uh, the uh, Latter-day Saints will tell you that he's a spirit brother of Lucifer. He's a god, like you're going to become a god. Like the father became a god. You're going to have different, it's multiple gods. This is our life after death. I gave you the big three. Reincarnation, annihilation, or resurrection. We're getting a little long more noise here, but that's okay. Bear with me. And how should we live? Well, people will say any way you want to. You choose to live however you want to. I'll choose to live however I want to. And if we meet, it'll be beautiful. Other people say, no, here's the way you've got to live. you got to be in sync with our organization. It might be Planned Parenthood. It might be Black Lives Matter, the organization, or the movement, which is more benign. Or it might uh, it's just as radical in terms of making a difference in the world, but not as corrupted by money. Uh, how should we live? Oh, according to my religion's dictates, according to this religion's dictates. I've got to go to Mecca. I've got to give to the poor. I've got to, I've got to uh, 
give alms. I've got to pray so many times a day facing in a certain direction. Everybody's got a theory for how you should live. The truth of the matter is the Christian worldview answers these questions in a way that is cohesive and makes sense. Does it make total sense? Can it answer all the questions? Does it not have anything left to mystery? Truth is there's a lot of mystery and a lot of unanswered questions too. But I'm going to show you next after this video how a Christian worldview can be explained to people once they've had a chance to wrestle themselves with these answers in a way that's consistent and holds together. For instance, you can't just turn around and say, everything is beautiful, there's nothing wrong with matter, I'm a materialist, I love money, I love mammon, and then down here say, oh, we should live according to love. But wait a minute, there's no love, everything is material, that's what you said here. So you've got to live consistent, your answers have got to be consistent. I think we'll talk, show you a little bit about consistency in just a second. That's it.